Hello everyone, this is Therese and I am here with my completed collage for the Marguerite Miller Challenge. We are on week 16, so let's take a look at the props for this week. We have something with a spine, something made from wood or wood grain, an illustration, a bit of purple, a business card, and the bonus item this week, a portion of a food or drink label. Okay, so the first prop, something with a spine. I have a magazine image here with these books. And then I also have a stamp from my huge stamp collection. Then we have something made from wood or wood grain. Now for that, I took some coffee dyed paper that I had and I added a wood grain background stamp as you can see on both pages here. And then I just use some mixed media, a couple different colors of ink to just kinda add some a different look to it, I guess, grunge it up a bit. Then we have an illustration. For that, I'm using my ever popular Pattern Ladies. Then a bit of purple. My bit of purple turned into a whole bunch of purple. So I have it in these uh, scrapbook butterflies here. Uh, so both ladies have purple in their dresses. And then I carried it through over here with a butterfly stamp and up here in this other stamp as well. So you can see it all over. Then a business card. Here is my business card. It says Hutong Sushi and Grill and that is from a local sushi place that I enjoy going to. I wish my husband was a fan, but he's not. So my one son that lives in the area, sometimes I uh, invite him along and he loves it. Then the bonus item was a portion of a food or drink label. And that is right here. This Davina orange fig spread I got from my fridge. Oh man, if you've not tried this stuff, it's really good. And looking at this prompt here, it's reminding me that I had checked out one of Marguerite's previous videos. It was where, I believe it was called something like how to start a collage. And she was mentioning how if you struggle with collage, maybe find something that is a jumping off point for you in a ephemera piece from wherever and just create from there. So that's actually my starting point for this collage was this jar label and it has orange in it and I know the prompt is a one of the prompts is a bit of purple so I knew that somehow I was going to be tying in those two colors together so that's my finished collage for week 16. Now if you're interested in some other ideas of how these same prompts were used then be sure and check out that hashtag here 2023CWP16 and you can see the other crafters and what they've come up with and it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun to see other interpretations with the same prompts the different kind of materials they find different resources that may be used so i really encourage you to check out that hashtag as well as marguerite's youtube channel which i will list below and she has lots of wonderful ideas ways to help you get started and she's very encouraging and it just makes you feel like no matter what your level of crafting is, that it's possible for anybody to create a collage. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you find time in your day to be creative, whatever that means to you. And bye for now.